rat, 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 rat league podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Podchaser, Good Pods, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher at Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok at Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 87 coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? So uh, I just watched Top Gun Maverick. It is the long-awaited, long-delayed sequel to 1986's Top Gun. It stars Tom Cruise, Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, John Hamm, uh, Glenn Powell, Greg Tarzan Davis, Monica Barbaro, Louis Pullman, Jay Ellis, and it, um, it is, and Val Kilmer, it is directed by Joseph Kaczynski. He directed Tron Legacy. He directed Oblivion, also with Tom Cruise. He directed Only the Brave, also with Miles Teller and Jennifer Connelly. So, it I'm pretty sure it's in real time. You can take real time as 2020. You can take real time as 2022. They don't really specify, but this was supposed to come out like 4th of July of 2020. So, um, Maverick is still in the Navy. He's test he's like he's seeing how far he can push like like really like cool stealth fighter jets something happens he gets sent back to top gun um you know coming around full circle training a team for a mission and he got some personal connections to a student in this team and there's like, there's all like among the students, you know, you got the rivalries and, you know, the camaraderie and all of that. And Maverick just, he has to find it within himself to train these students. I like the original Top Gun. I don't lose my mind. Like, I feel like, I feel like in the eighties, maybe even in the early nineties, it was like one of the, it was one of those movies that left its mark quotes and, 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 you know, just iconic moments. And I think it's cool. Um, it, you know, in, in the vein of Rambo, Rocky, Indiana Jones, Terminator, it's cool seeing Tom Cruise revisit one of his iconic eighties roles. He, I think Tom Cruise has kind of like carved out a lane where he's playing the same kind of character practically in everything these days, and we kind of give him a pass. Because what's what's the difference between what, what's the difference between Maverick in this movie and Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible Fallout? Um, but like he he makes good movies, and his, his performance is good enough to carry the movie. But, you know, I mean, over the years, man, I mean, come on. Born on the 4th of July, Days of Thunder, The Outsiders, Collateral, Edge of Tomorrow. Like, T Tom Cruise is a dope actor. Um, and he's one of the last remaining movie stars because he doesn't do streaming movies. Um, but, yeah, like, I knew I was going to get entertainment from Tom Cruise, his performance and all of that. Him and, him and Jennifer Connelly have a great, like, back and forth chemistry, romantic subplot. But um, I was more excited for this class of pilots. Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, they are kind of the Maverick and Iceman. There's, there's a rivalry, there's a dick measuring contest. But to flip the script, Glenn Powell is the Maverick of the two, but with an antagonistic spin. Yeah, like I just I really dug their rivalry. Uh Lewis Pullman is is funny. He's got a funny call sign. Um Cr Monica Barbaro crushing hard on Phoenix, not going to lie. Um I dug um you know Greg Tarzan Davis, Danny Ramirez, uh J.R. Ellis. Everything that they brought, like I dug what each pilot who got any kind of dialogue or any kind of scene like brought to the class, to the to the story overall. 
um there there's there's like this movie like brings everything there there's obviously nostalgia you can't make a top gun sequel and not reference the first movie there there's humor there's amazing tension like i said there's a romance there's a little bit of something for everybody as much as i like john ham john ham was a prick in this movie but i high ranking naval officer that's probably a dead accurate performance being in the military and now working in and around military aircrafts like they nailed the environment they na they nailed the back and forth they nailed the camaraderie it's it's all there it's, it all plays um and and i think joseph kaczynski needs a lot of credit too man like he's done what four big major movies and i I need to rewatch Tron Legacy. I need to rewatch Oblivion, but he could honestly be four for four, as as far as not having duds at least. Cause only the Brave is amazing. I I completely understand why he brought back Miles Teller and and Jennifer Connelly. Like to, I, if you can't tell, I really enjoyed this movie, Top Gun Maverick. It it was fun. It was exciting. Like I said, tension throughout um laughs romance whatever you're looking for you're gonna get a little bit of that in this movie at the very least and i will i will go out i don't even know if i'm on a limb there might be a lot of people on this limb and the branch might be breaking off the tree top gun maverick is better than the original fuck it i said it um it, throw it in throw it in there with the godfather part two the dark knight captain america the winter soldier as direct sequels that surpass the original With all that being said, I will say that in my opinion, Top Gun Maverick is almost dope as fuck. Have you seen Top Gun Maverick, man? What you think? Positive, negative, somewhere in between, let me know. Um, the only review I believe I have posted this month is for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Like DC Animation really could have threw out their next release this month. I would have watched it and reviewed it, um, but July. Um, I have a review coming right around the corner for the Bob's Burgers movie. Um, within the next couple weeks, all I think I'm watching is Jurassic World Dominion. And I want to watch Hustle on Netflix with Adam Sandler. YouTube review can't promise, but I'm going to watch it. So, um, Wreck League Podcast, episode 87. We're talking Tom Cruise, man. 40 year career highs lows everything in between check it out like subscribe comment find me where you find me man don't know where to find me watch these credits peace